Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out to really see the things that have not been wanting to be seen and listening to the things that weren't really being said. It's truly a blessing to know that, you know, a lot of things are coming towards us that we truly need at this point. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you know, uh, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give, how it impacted your life and hit you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now, need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even soul purpose, Go ahead and um, share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. And today, the meditation music I'm listening to is very powerful, too. I feel my whole body, body, I said body, body vibrating. I'm trying to put two words into one. Uh, Kundalini awakening, 330, I mean, 432 hertz, tone, spiritual journey with Indian drums and Tibetan bowls, meditation music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And um, my video today is Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas. Uh, years of setback, mistakes, failures. The universe ha uh, is having us value every experience. They truly are. You know, it's just like sometimes we can go through some really traumatizing things like saying, oh, I really never wish I met this person or I really never wish that I went there, you know, if this wouldn't have happened or if these things, you know, or I, I wasted my time dealing with people we have to understand that there's everybody that comes into our life for a specific reason and I tell people a lot you know it took me a long time to say that for myself you know I even tell people you know I'm very close to I said I never you know uh, wish that I never met certain people you know there's times you know especially if it's in a toxic situation those we we had to be able to experience that to be able to be grateful for them you know you have to be able to go through a, a terrible heartbreak you know and see the lesson for what it is and not you know when you know like say if you're looking for your soulmate or you're wanting to be in union with your your twin flame or anything like that and you've been in a toxic situation relationship it doesn't matter if it's a female or a male because it's like women can be narcissistic just as well as men can and you know i don't want to be always you know seeming like i'm picking on men because i've seen women is doing the same thing and i'm like wow we we call it we come in all shapes sizes and everything so it is just like if you're ready for you know you really know you're ready for that twin flame like connection you have to be able to love yourself beyond all measures love people that no matter what they did you know you had to be able to forgive them for anything that they've been placed in because you know if you when you have went through the ultimate heartbreak which i truly have you know and it's just like i'm still you know healing on a lot of different things it's just like i don't i don't i didn't shut myself from love but i feel like you know if you're not making my heart beat like you know like crazy like whoa what's for what's up with this person i need to know them you know i, I don't you know, I don't waste my time with them. I won't even let them waste my time. I'm like, look, this ain't going to go nowhere. He's like, dang, you ain't even gave it a chance. I know with my heart, this ain't going to work. You know, and I'm, you know, I'm just keeping it there. I said, but we can be friends, though. That's no problem. But it's just like when you have went through those different things, I'm like, yeah, I was in a relationship that was very, very toxic. But I'm blessed that I went through that situation because it allowed me to see things for what they truly are. I can't be mad at him. Because he showed me who he truly is. You know, I, 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 I pray for the ones that don't know him that way, you know. Um, but I just, like I always say with him, I hope and pray that he can find happiness in, in one person. You know, whoever he is with, it, you know, get serious with that one person or whatever that he choose to do. You know, but it's just like, I, I'm glad that I went through that situation because it allowed me to know 
you know, uh, you, you deserve respect, you deserve to be loved. You know, it's sad when people enter your life and have no intentions on loving you, but it's, you had to be able to go through those different failures. You had to be able to go through those different setbacks. You know, there is no successful person that can't tell you they have had a lot of setbacks. They have had a lot of mistakes. They, you know, and probably invested too much time in something else when they were supposed to invest their time in this. But they had to be able to learn from the mistakes that they invested their time in to be able to know, okay, once I do it this time, it'll be able, you'll be able to learn what not to do it's just like i tell people like i have to tell myself you know we've had a lot of relationships you know i've had a lot of i learned from each and every one of my relationships and i'm very you know i appreciate every single one of them and i love them from you know even from afar even if it was a toxic situation it allowed me to do that you know i don't hold, hold no you know no no issues with anybody like that you know and it's just even with my situation with um, my mom's ex-husband and his wife and her family. I don't hold anything against them about that. You know, it was just like I had to be able to learn what was truly being shown right there. There was time of people, it was just like been in toxic relationships and they were only going by what they've been taught. Or there was certain situations that had them looking at each and every person in a different way. You know, you can be with a, a guy and it's like a lot of guys, it, it know this in certain situations like that i'm not trying to say all men but i'm just saying when it comes to toxic relationships where you you find men that are womenizers they have issues with their mother or you know they felt abandoned by their mother it was different things you know that guys go through or they have father situations with me i was always looking for that father figure didn't have it in my life you know I, I didn't know what to look for when it came to a real man you know how a real man supposed to cheat, treat you because my adopted father wasn't there my my biological father couldn't be there even though he was trying to be there the best way he knew how but it was like all I had was phone calls you know and that was you know he couldn't be allowed to be any closer than that other than phone calls and it was just like, I can be able to say when I can look at my past life, you know, it really took me a long time not to hold any grudges. You know, if you've been with me for a long time, you know, a lot of, some of y'all have been with me longer than a year. So, you know, I've like evolved in a big, you know, in a big different way. And I'm blessed for all the setbacks that I've had. I'm blessed for all the, the failures and the mistakes I've had because we learn off of them. You know, when you, like when I said, when you want to get into that relationship, you have to look at all the situations that you had problems with in your prior relationships, whether it was communication, trust, love, being honest, being there to support each other, you know, that communication, that's a big thing as well. You have to be able to converse, meet each other halfway, being able to compromise certain things, you know, let people know, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this, or them letting you know, hey, I don't feel comfortable with this, or looking out for the red flags in case you might be going down that road of being into another toxic relationship. It allowed you to know when you've been through that situation before you knew what to look for. And it's just like those, I, I hold my, my, you know, my failed relationships very dear to me because it's like when I finally do get into a marriage or get into a, a serious relationship that's leading towards marriage I can you know not compare my life to that compare my relationship with my other relationships because I really feel like the next one is going to be very good for me that I can be able to use what I didn't use in my last prior relationships to be able to work in my new relationship. And that's a lot of times why we had to go through different things like that. You know, it, you know, like when people tell me their situations when it had to do with, you know, they were in a very bad marriage or uh, a very bad relationship that had them looking at people in a different way, did not allow them to open up towards people. They didn't want to have love because of, you know, prior abuses that they went through and life had them shut off you know um even my dad has you know written certain songs it's just like you went through certain things and it allowed you to put walls up and i did put walls up you know i felt like you know i'm very introverted i'm very anti-social you know um it, it was just like so many people during this awakening during this journey i'm blessed that i went through a lot of things but a lot of people uh that I conversed with it was like either being used or they were trying to block or you know they hated or it was always something negative but I, I don't wish them any any bad 
I don't because it's like when you know you're going towards blessings you can't have that hatred in your heart you're you have too many things that's, you know it's about to prosper your life into so many different ways you never imagined you can't have hate in your heart if you're ready to go to the other places and it's not because you want these things but that's how you truly have to feel and I can honestly say you know it took me a minute you know it really took me a minute to learn to grow you know I can't be mad at my ex you know my ex is just showing me who he truly is and I, I appreciate that you know him is just him you know I just pray that you know he can heal from all those different things so you know going through all that you know you, you learn lessons from those in a, a very positive way you have to be able to you know see things for what they truly are learn from those mistakes you know because the universe is having us value every experience we had to endure so you have to be very grateful for those things and know that you know hey you know i had to experience these things if i want the best things in life i had to be able to endure the worst things in life too because you wouldn't be able to appreciate the good things if you never had to go through the bad things so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. I got to cut it short because my grandbaby just uh, rung the doorbell, so I got her. So um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Bree Tree, um, Deja uh, Waitley, and um, let me see, Miguel Hortado Martinez. Much love to you as well. You know, all of y'all are evolving and you know prospering in so many major ways and you know things are starting to unfold on you know into your life that you truly need it so i will see you on my next video like and subscribe give me that thumbs up drop me a line let me know if you resonate uh hit, uh subscribe hit that notification bell as well share and know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and sit out Send out as much love and light positivity as you possibly can. And know that, uh, that, um, yes, baby. Well, I gotta go, y'all. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love. Peace.